Hey everyone, Pastor Richard here with Cornerstone Church in Lake Jackson, Texas. I just wanted to hop on for a moment today to share something the Lord's been stirring on my heart all morning, and I pray that it encourages you and helps you as you journey through this week. We currently live on the Gulf Coast. It's the first time our family has lived this far south, and we've just recently had a few cool evenings and cool mornings. It's mid-November, I know, it's kind of crazy. But it inspired me to go out and buy a fire pit. We moved a, a little over a year ago, and I, I hadn't got a new fire pit for our house yet. So I went out and bought a fire pit, and we really enjoyed it. Friday, we had family time around the fire pit, making s'mores, just having a good time together. And then Sunday evening, our life group gathered around the fire, and we had some great fellowship with one another. There's just something about a fire that draws people together. <clears throat> I can't be around a fire without thinking about my childhood. I, I grew up uh, camping a lot. My dad's an outdoorsman, and so we had a lot of time around the campfire. And I remember as a kid, one of my main jobs was to go out and gather the firewood and feed the fire every time it would begin to die away. Uh, I didn't know at the time that my dad was using me for grunt work. I wasn't smart enough then, but uh, I enjoyed it. And each time that the fire would start to die down, I'd look at my dad and he'd say, yeah, it's time to throw some more wood on the fire. Um, so I would feed the flame and keep it burning. As I think about that, uh, I'm reminded of something the Lord said in Leviticus chapter 6. This text jumped out at me a few years ago, and it has really encouraged and inspired and challenged me through the years. It was a season in the life of Israel when they were wandering in the wilderness and God gave them the tabernacle. That was a reminder of his presence. It was a place of worship. It, it symbolized the covenant relationship that God had with his people. And in the tabernacle, there was an altar. And on the altar, there was a fire that was used to burn the offering. And here in Leviticus chapter 6, God says something really powerful about that fire. Listen to these words. I'm only going to read verses 12 and 13. <clears throat> the fire on the altar must be kept burning. It must not go out. Every morning, the priest is to add firewood and arrange the burnt offering on the fire and burn the fat of the fellowship offering on it. The fire must be kept burning on the altar continuously. It must not go out. The first time I read those words, the Lord began to speak to me about the fire within our heart. You see, Scripture tells us that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We're the tabernacle. We're the place where the presence of God dwells today. And I'm convinced that it's God who brings the fire. It's God who lights that passion and that love in our life through His Holy Spirit. But we have a part to play. We have to feed and fuel and fan the flame of God in our life. And I wonder, have we allowed the flame to die away? There are seasons in life and there's stuff that we face in this world that can co pour cold water on the flame of God. There are times when it just seems that the fire is, is dying out. But I think God is telling us that we have a role, we have a purpose, we have a part to play and our part is to go get the wood, to arrange the wood on the altar, to keep feeding and fanning and fueling the flame of God. I'm reminded of what Paul told Timothy, his protege, to fan into flame the gift of God that was placed in him by the laying on of hands. And so what are you doing to feed and fuel and fan the flame in your life in this week? I want to encourage you. Maybe you want to Take some extra time to pray this week. Maybe you need to get into a podcast. Maybe you need to get around some other passionate believers who can stoke the coals in your life. The Word tells us that we're to spur one another on. We're to stoke one another. We're to help each other to burn more brightly for God. Whatever it is, maybe you need to listen to a podcast or listen to some sermons. But I want to encourage you, don't let the fire go out. Don't let the passion, the love, the devotion, the commitment to God die away. Instead, when you sense that things are beginning to die away, I want you to go get some more wood. 
Go get something that's going to feed the flame of God in your life. Let's burn brightly for the Lord this week. Get ready, Cornerstone. God's on the move. God bless.